The former AS Vita and FC Tirana forward struck from 20 yards through a forest of bodies for the solitary goal on the evening. Until St. Amos goal, Kige's home boys, a regional entity in the third tier division, had proved a hard nut to crack with a spirited defending. As the game seemed destined for post-match penalties to determine the winner, St. Amos had completely divergent ideas altogether with Estana. Bob Aloch, a newly signed Vipers defender in January transfer window, and his debut as he replaced Disan Galiwango at halftime. Vipers progress to the round of 32, where they will battle Kalongo United this Saturday, 26th February 2022. Meanwhile, Uganda People's Defense Forces Football Club became the first side to qualify for round of 16 of the tournament. The Ami side overcame a resilient third division Kampala best club side Impala Hill 1-0. Yasin Sabir scored all important goal on the stroke of full time. At the round of 64, Uganda People's Defense Forces had defeated Soroti 3-0 at the Soroti Stadium with the goals coming from a towering forward Philip Tabani, Yasin Sabir and Rogers Mugisha.